Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do, it's like a clone effect. So just take a look right here, and yeah. See, so it looks like um, there are multiple. This is just me doing some like uh, packing. I just did a time lapse to kind of see how it all fit and stuff. But what this effect is doing is it's creating that sort of um, ghost behind you. So a bunch of different images. I mean, this is used for like the Matrix Dodge, um, used to emulate really fast speed, used in music videos. Really, really cool effect and pretty simple to do, and you can just pull it off in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's go ahead and start. Uh, let's create ourselves a new sequence here. I'm just okay with those settings. And so we're just going to take our first footage, our footage, and drop it into here. Um, let's change the sequence. I don't know if fit. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in and we need to add a couple of video layers because three isn't going to cut it. Now, what we could do is just drag this up in the next one and it could, it'll could it create more for you. Or you can right click up here in the black and hit add tracks. Um, just make audio track zero and you can input as many as you want. So, you know, we go like, we go seven right here and now it inputs seven more uh, tracks to here. And you'll see if you pull it up here, now we got like 10 video tracks right here. So then, the next step we're going to do is we need to duplicate this footage a bunch of times. So let's bring it back down in video one. And then if we hold the Alt key and drag up, then release the mouse and then release the Alt key, we actually have a perfect duplicate. So we're just gonna do this a couple of times to duplicate the footage up. The next step is we're going to go ahead and offset these a little bit. The more you zoom in, the easier it's going to be to offset them and the smaller the offsets will be. So what we're doing here is we're just making the ghost effect. So if you want it to like be a really, really tight ghost effect with like a bunch of different, um, like uh, a bunch of different objects, you know, in the background. So if I'm moving here, you know, have 15 of them really, really close together, then you want to put these frames together. If you want a slower one, then you need to stretch them out a little bit. So now we have this. Now you'll see it just looks like it just keeps cutting back to the same footage over and over and over again. Um, so what we need to do now is we need to go through these and we need to lower their opacities. So go to the first one, uh, right around 50% I say is okay. There, 50%, 50%. And you might want to do this um, if you're doing it with a lot or just make it easier. When you duplicate the first one, go to here and put it 50%. That way every time you duplicate it, it's going to copy the 50 over and you don't have to keep redoing it. So now we have this effect going on right here. You'll see it's it's got a little ghost effect going on. Um, this one is almost looks like you know he's uh, the Flash going at super speed. If we really bring these closer together and make these just a couple of frames off of one another, then you'll see it's a lot closer together. And this works best when there's a stationary shot. Otherwise, the background moves and it kind of looks a little bit weird. So we just you know understand that. Okay, so then the final really touch to this is we go in here and we're going to look for cross dissolve. And it'll be in the video transitions, dissolve, and then cross dissolve. And we want to throw them on the top clips here. And what this does is it, does it, it just makes it not so um, sharp every time a new instance comes in. So you can see it's a lot smoother. It's like it just happens instead of them just all shooting into them, uh, shooting into the scene. And with that, you basically have this effect. What I did on the first one was I just added a different tint color to each one of these. And that'll actually kind of make the person um, different colored in the back. So if we tint here, we can just kind of throw tints onto these and change the color around a little bit. And then you kind of get these cool effects happening. And it's going to change the whole look of the, the video when you do that. But you'll actually kind of see a unique instance of the person, the red uh, ghost there and you can do that with a bunch of ones and as long as you don't apply it to the top one It'll come out looking pretty much similar to the original footage with like a slight color tint Basically adding all the colors up, but yeah, so if we like added the tint to this one as well, you know added a blue to this one You'll see it adds purple here and it'll also do a little weird cross dissolve here So you might want to push it all the way back and have it start right here but you kind of get a cool effect and you can really go strong with this and kind of make it like psychedelic, you know, the guy doesn't know what's happening. It's like he's running in four different places at once sort of thing. Anyway, that's the ghost effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. 
really, really versatile effect. You can use it, you know, like I said, music videos, make it look like someone's going really fast, make it look like someone's dodging something really fast. It's just an overall neat effect. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you want to, uh, if you got any suggestions, comments, or anything like that, throw those in the comments below. And until next time, guys, see ya.